Ah! Oh my god! Hey guys, it's Vash. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. So I was right, it did respawn us back at the top of the communication tower, which is fine. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Wonderful? I hope. I'm alright, I guess. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I'm keeping real. Um, I want to put this up over the weekend for you guys so you have something to enjoy. Funny thing is, like, whenever I say, oh, I'm going to put some up over the weekend, I usually put it up, like, Friday. And then people um, binge that shit on Friday. And then I get a lot of messages of people going like, yo, I ain't got shit to watch over the weekend. So I'm going to put it up Saturday morning. All right. I'll put it up Saturday morning just for you. So you'll have it, you know, you'll be able to actually watch it during the weekend. But hope you guys are doing great. We only got three bullets. What? I'm doing all right. My, my stummy's bubbling. What else is new though, right? Unicorn Overlord comes out tomorrow. And I am mega excited. I'm so excited for that game. That and a uh, new wrestling game comes out too. The new WWE game. Um, but if you pre-ordered it or whatever, got that super, super expensive version, you could play it like five days early. I can't wait. We're getting into the gaming. It's about to be gaming. Is Jamin. I hope you guys are all doing well. Whatever you got going on, let me know. I want to see. I want to know what you guys are. What you guys got popping off? Got an A on your test? Got that job interview? Congratulations. Did I miss? Nah. I want to know how you guys are thriving and succeeding. Makes me happy to see that you guys are doing good. Oh, they're giving us famous bullets. Okay, here. So, like I said before, I've played this game like a million times, right? So, we got to fight a bunch of invisible karate dudes. And I'm thinking, should we blow them up or kung fu them? Should we kung fu them? I'm thinking kung fu. You guys thinking kung fu? I was thinking of just dropping a shit ton of C4 and just, and just letting Jesus take the wheel. But <laughs> well, that might kill me, which isn't a problem. Because shit happens. At least it's a funny story to tell your kids, right? But should we kung fu? Got to get my jabs ready. I'm about to kiosk some invisible motherfuckers. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong with this elevator? I'm trying to go down to floor one by pressing the right button. Ooh, my nose. Ouch. Oh man, I gotta sneeze so bad. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Oh, no. Look out, Snake. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. Oh, no. I'm surrounded. Too late, Snake. Now die. Oh yeah? Kia, bitch! <laughs> Diga! Sucker! Shit! Sucker ya! Hold on, let me get my health. I, you know, I can't go two balls at the wall. Alright, who on it? Come here, bitch! Kia! Sucker ya! Sweet! Come here! Wrestling my invisible friends? My imaginary homeboys? Huh. He's a ooh. Damn, y'all are getting fucked up! Come here, bitch! Kia! Sukaya! Suk! Sui! Come here! Sukaya! Ooh, ooh! Come here, bitch! <laughs> oh, fuck! 
How many times I must teach you this lesson, invisible man? You scared a little of me? going on up here? Do I have to kill them? I can't just beat the shit out of them? Alright. Alright. Okay. Fine. Fine. You wanna play? Huh? You wanna play? Oh shit! You wanna play? Let's play. <laughs> Hold that. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, shit. Can I, can I knock them out? Or do I have to kill them? It seems like I might have to kill them. It's just me and you, bitch. Yeah, I can stun lock them forever. Let's see. These are from my liquid jabs. Yeah, we probably gotta kill him. It's been fun. <laughs> You're like, what the hell, man? Snake in there fighting himself. He's kicking his own ass. Oh, that's funny. Blah, 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 nah, nah. Oh, PSG1. I forgot the, uh, the Snipe Adder Wolf uh, boss fight's coming up. Chaff Garnades. We already checked the left side, right? Like, completely? Like, all the way through? I was sitting here fucking around. He's up all my health. Yeah, we checked it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's why we need chaff grenades, huh? You know what? Let's do it. Might as well. Boop. Might as well. Okay. This boss fight isn't too bad, especially if you do it how I'm gonna do it, because I'm not gonna sniper. We've already had our sniper fight. I'm over that shit. Ah! I like how he gets shot and just decides to just kneel Snake, out and open. Are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon. Are you smiling like this is a... Yeah, happy. what the hell? This isn't a good no, thing? No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. 
I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we're supposed to get into a sniper fight with Sniper Wolf, right? That's the whole point? You know, GG? So I'm gonna do this thing where uh, I'm gonna just blow her up. Oh shit, I got a duck. I'm gonna pop my head off. Alright. We only have eight shots? That's not enough. Where'd all my bullets go? Okay, we might have to make it enough. Oh, this is the wrong way? Oh no, this is the right way. I'm on my way! Where you at, baby girl? Bop! Yeah, they're definitely killing her with eight shots of these. Alright, whatever. We can we can soften her up. <laughs> yeah! We can just soften her up a bit. If only I had more shots. Where you at, baby girl? Oh shit, I almost hit that tree. Where you run off to? I can hear you aiming. Where you at? Where you at, baby girl? No, no, no. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It starts going on the drums. <laughs> Man, I, when I was a little kid, I had a talk boy. You remember those things from like Home Alone? Na, 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 na. I used to record it, record this song on there, man, and just and just be vibing, bro. Just be vibing. Oh fuck me, man. Is there a faster way to get over there over here? Oh hell yeah. She over here. I can smell it. Where you at? Hi. Boop. No, no, no. You know what? Maybe if we didn't miss the other shots, maybe we'd actually be doing good. It was only one shot. Do, 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 do. Hey, baby girl. Let me hit you with that woo woo. Na, 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 na. Where you at? I can't see. There we go. Ma, 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 na. You can use these for uh, the Raven fight too. You get some get some good distance out of the Nikita. Woo woo. Get some good Nikitas. Oh, we can find some more ammo for this bitch because I'm gonna use it on Raven. We gonna use claymores, Nikitas. The whole shebang. C4? Raven gonna get it. Oh, should I miss? Oh, yeah. Last shot. And now we have to actually, you know, finish her off. Probably have to hit her once. Oh, shit. Where you at? Oh, I can hear over here to the left. 
right? Yeah, there she No, is she here? Ooh, okay. Now let's, let's, uh, get this bad boy out. Oh, this is, this is a fucking awful idea. We got a beta shot so we can figure out where she's at. Where are the laser coming from? Okay, to the left. Ah! Where you at? I can hear her. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, yeah, baby. Now that's what I call a per- A picture-perfect destination. I don't know what that is. Detonation? That wasn't the word I was looking for. Picture perfect demolition? Desolation. Whatever, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Oh, she had a choker on? What? Never moving a muscle. I didn't even notice. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You, you cannot save me. I don't think I planned on it. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A card. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on the battlefield, raised on the battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? 
Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Damn, bro. It be like that? Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. That's so funny when you look at it. What are we fighting for? I'll let you know when it's over. Oh. Okay. Boy, oh boy, what a boss fight. So let me show you something that I found out not too long ago because someone told me, not not that I figured it out, but someone mentioned this to me and I've you know I've never seen this before until until uh you know someone mentioned it. So after you do this boss fight, you run along the side here. Um I think you can see it from here. Where is it? No, it's over there. You go over here and you go in first person. There it is. Huh? I have never seen that before. As many times as I've played this game, I've never seen that before. Colonel, listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the Hind. A parachute? You don't think that Liquid survived? Impossible. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. So what's that parachute doing there, then? I have no idea. A trap? Either that, or a message. To me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. But I think it's more like I'll string you up. 
That was dream. Case, yeah. Don't let your guard down. I won't. Snake, look, <laughs> thinking all deep in his thing. Ah, string you. Up. No, it's more like he fucking survived, and that's it. There's nothing, nothing extra, nothing, nothing beyond fact or fiction about it. He jumped out of that helicopter and he survived. So yeah, as many times as I've played this game, I've never known that that's a thing. I think it's mostly because whenever I've played this game, I very rarely use first person, and since the camera is like this 90% of the time, um, you can't see. Oh, I thought there'd be a gun up in here. So let's collect uh, some stuff because we can open up these doors. Um, but they have. I think we. Oop, here, I think I can shoot these, right? I think I can aim that high. That's funny. Or there's a grip. Whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care. Fuck you. What other juices and berries can we find in this bitch? No, I'm completely out of everything. Everything that matters. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yo, that would have been useful during the boss fight. Right? Oh, useful like 10 minutes ago. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we're good. Yeah, bro, that would have been useful a while ago. What the fuck? NA1? What's up here? Oh, this is the way forward. Um, Let's check here. Or not? Nah? Level 7, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sniper Wolf. It's been real, baby girl. Get ready for the speed bag. Hold up. Let me let me get in posi can I can I you know what? I'm gonna get as close as I can. Bow 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 Is that close? Bow bow Oh I can't. Oh I've never seen that angle before. Bow bow. Bow 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 What you got up in here? Cool shit. Oh. Man, all these rooms fucking trapped? Son of a bitch. Let me look through my thermal G's. Ain't that a bitch? I don't think that shit's funny, huh? I don't think it's funny. Dice pan. It is quiet. Stun grenades. A ration. <laughs> Oops. I accidentally used the medicine. Does it matter? If after you use the medicine, can you get sick again? Cause like if you're if you're out in the cold too long, snake will start sneezing, um, which can get you caught. It's pretty shitty. But I think like once you use the medicine, you're just you're just immune forever, right? Oh, almost ran in here. I almost you almost caught me slipping. All right, we're good. Almost, almost caught me slipping. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Is there one more? Yeah, there's one more. I'm trying to collect all the juices and berries. Let's see, now this one's got a buttload of bullshit in it. When you hit him with the old chafferino. Oh, there ain't no damn mines in here. That would suck. Alright, good. Alright. So that's it. That's it, right? I'll string you up. Bish. All right, let's continue on. Now I remember when this when this first came out, I saw people, a bunch of people whining about it on the internet about the uh, the disc swap thing. They were like, "Oh man, why couldn't they just have it just swap? Why do they do that?" Because it's trying to just keep the the dream alive. Shut the fuck up. Do you even play video games? All you do is fucking complain. All be all you bitches do. Cry, cry, cry. I was about to go through and probably get shot. Get our Therm G's ready. All right. And there you go. Well, 
Like, look at that. That's so cool. Why can't I just make it where it's a seamless experience that takes me out of the... That's cool, dude. We got to look at the discs. We got to see, like, Solid Snake on it. I've never actually seen what the original discs look like. I've always had the greatest hits version, which is just white. Like, the disc is just white. There's a lot of games. I hate greatest hits shit, by the way. Um, but, I mean, when you're a Charon, I guess it don't matter. Should we snap that guy's neck? I don't know. He's kind of spooky. Should take him out, right? Maybe we don't have to. It depends on where he goes from here. I swear if he comes this way. Where the fuck are you going? I just don't want to be going across. Should we just beat his ass? We have to go that way. But the thing is, is like, I don't want to... Yeah, he's gonna be going over there. Will we have enough time? Because we have to go against that wall, and if he goes back to his original position, he's gonna see us when we're going across. You know a way to avoid it? We can snap his fucking neck. How about that? Let's do that. That sounds like a plan. You guys ready? We can't run across that grate, though. Oh, shit. Let me tell you a secret. Hey, that's fucked up. He's dead. How can you tell he's dead? What does he have? ESPN? The fuck? We psychically tell him he was dying? How you get away with that shit? Is that thing gonna bust my ass? Now, if I had a stinger missile, that guy would be roasted. Oh, fuck me, dude. Now, you turn your nosy ass around. We don't have any, right? Yeah, dude, we're out. We got these, though. Can we do they one shot? About to find out. Let's see. Where are you at? You down there? I'm about to blow this motherfucker up. Oh. That's not good. I thought it would go down the stairs. <laughs> now we're about to get caught again because the explosion is going to alert him. Maybe if we do it way over here, he won't notice. Yeah, he'll notice. I don't fuck! <laughs> Problem solved. Did he just... Oh, shit. Uh... Uh-oh. That's brazy, dude. I thought there was only one guy. He just morphed into another man. Should we just shoot him? I mean, we got all these guns. We might as well just shoot him, right? Nah, we don't need to. Fuck it. I do want that bulletproof vest, though. 100 percent, a thousand percent. I do want that bulletproof vest. Ow. Let's go get it. Can a brother get some stinger missiles, please?
Okay, body armor has been got. Let's go. Body armor works really, really well. Um, to be honest, I wear it during the final fight. Um, and it just looks cool. I wear it during the uh, the final, you know, the part when liquids shooting at you and shit. Just reduces the damage just a teensy weensy bit, and also just looks kind of cool. Even though like Snake already has like a really cool like bulletproof vest with a, with a built-in six-pack on it. Like look at that shit. That shit's cool, right? But check this out. I can put on my tank top. Look at that. It's all tiny and shit. You know, during laundry day when you wear the tiny tank top when you're doing. You know what? You're acting like you ain't never done. You know what you're talking about. When it's laundry day, you wear the hoochie daddy shorts and the tiny tank top. Out here looking sexual and don't even notice. Can't even tell. You know it be like that. Don't lie to me. We've all done it. I've worn tiny crop tops sometimes on the laundry day. Sometimes I wear tiny crop tops just because I like to. Makes me feel good. Like Halle Berry. There we go. I was wondering. I was like, what the fuck? Why is it not working? Long ass elevator rides. We gotta go through these elevators twice because we gotta go down the initial time. Oh yeah, there's more kung fu dudes. Oh. <laughs> he said, ah! Damn. Nah, it looks like I'm gonna have to beat the fuck out of you again. Kia! Sukoya! Oh shit. Oh my god, dude, I'm running out of bullets. Dude, bullets are flying, my guy. Oh my god, dude, my aim is so bad. There we go. That wasn't that bad. Glad they give you 401 of those bullets, because holy shit. Yeah, like I was saying before, we gotta go. We gotta take this long ass elevator ride twice. Not this. Oh, you. We do have to take this specific one. Um. Yeah. There's two. Why? I wonder why. Why do they have two of these? Is it the like disguised loading screens or something? Like, why do they have two of these really long, you know, two really long, uh, elevator rides? Oh my god, dude. I just cannot fucking win. Sudden Claymore mines. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. We're gonna need these anyway for the boss fight. Ration? Hell yeah. That's how they bait you. Can you imagine? That's how they get you. Going over there, be like, oh, free free rations? And you're dead. But we do have to go back up here for the key. Maybe just to show how deep underground Metal Gear is. Maybe that's why they have you get on these elevators. Like, it does feel like you're really going down in the depths, you know? Like, you're really going in, as as the kids say. <laughs> you ever left hook a bird? Oh fuck with him, grows. I believe too much Resident Evil. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't no. worry. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. 
What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja... Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Are you a snitch? You a fucking narc? Telling on people? So what if she lied? What's she gonna do about it? Use the nano machines and shut me down? She'd be doing me a favor. I wouldn't have to deal with this bullshit anymore. <laughs> then you'd have to come down here and get rid of these fucking nukes. You'd be the one down here punching crows. Give them the speed bags. C4? Nikita missiles? Oh, they knew what we wanted. They know what's popping. Nikitas? Rations? What about stingers? I need stingers, baby. Those missiles are good. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen. They agree. How dare you kill my friends? Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, I like that. That was no true battle. It'd be funny, he's like, <laughs> hey, fuck you. I'm not big. Your mama big. The kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> he said, "Cast or shoot them crows at his forehead, dude." I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah. Uh. Your ancestors, too, were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest. But indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. It must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Why don't we tweak each other's nipples? That'd be fun, right? No, just me? Oh, shit. That's just me? That's... Okay. Oh, I don't have any stinger missiles. All right. Duh, duh. You know what I do have? His big ass is coming this way. Coming. Where he at? We gotta figure out where he's coming. 
Let's see. Is he coming this way? Sort of. He is not coming this way. Oh, you big bitch. Let's hit him with one of these in the back. Hiya! What are you mad? I don't know his pattern. Like, I thought you could, like, bait him? He just kind of fucking goes whatever he wants. Is he gonna come this way? Here. We're gonna wait. He is. Perfect! <laughs> oh, you bitch! Come on! How are you gonna honey dick me like that? I had the perfect plan! Come to the end. Nope, he just he just ignore. He doesn't give a shit. Oh shit! He's going quick. He's getting a little fast. Let's see. Let's get our let's get, let's let's get our claymores ready. I'm gonna get him with one of these, damn it. Is he coming this way? Huh? Is he coming? Please don't 180. Hell yeah. Oh! Oh shit! I picked it up. Come on, man. Let me let me honey dick you, please. Oh shit! Dude, come this way. Why are you so... I can't bait him. Come on, man. I'm just trying to bait you. I remember where I put that mine. Oh, shit. That's going to fall in there and break it, isn't it? I hope he's not coming that way. Hey, I forgot where I put that mine. Can you... <laughs> you come over here? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Oh! He has nowhere to go. He has to walk into it. No! Nope. Yeah! Shit! Come on, no, fuck! Walk into it, big boy! Yeah! Baby, we got two! We got two! Three! Let's go! Fuck! Four! Shit! Did I pick it up? Four. Ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Give me the five. Come on. Come on, bitch. Give me the five. Oh, you would go the other fucking way, wouldn't you? Ah. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, shit! I forgot I left that one! Fuck! <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny with the Claymores, man. It's so funny, dude. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw died.
die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Dharma Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. Oh, dude. I don't remember him hold up he just having a face like that. The angel of death. That's funny. The angel of death. But why go to so much trouble? Why I don't know why chief. I don't remember this cutscene. Probably because whenever these cutscenes <laughs> run, I just go do something else. That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. I don't remember him taking his mask off. Snake. He's like, wait a minute, you're in white? In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. Man, they ate that boy clean. Glub, 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 bitch ass. Oh, I got a call. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay. Maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this, too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether different group it couldn't be place her under arrest what she's betrayed us she needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with if she's one of their spies then we're in big trouble what do you mean uh, nothing have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Yeah, you tell him. Snack. Solid snack. You tell him. Let's see. Let's go collect all this free shit laying around. I like free shit. You know my favorite part about it? Is this free? All of it's free. Oh yeah, since your body's not here, we just gonna go over to this pile of blood and your gun. And give you the speed bag. You ready? Bow! Bow! bow, 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 bow. bow. 
I think we've got it all. Right? Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let's keep heading towards Metal Gear. Check this key card. It'll help you through. Alright, bro, thanks. Thanks, you snitch. I'm kidding. Uh, oh, let's, uh, chaff this. We could just shoot it. Why not? We've got more than enough. I think that's it, right? I don't know. Hell no. This whole fucking room. What? What is the... Why is this room just laced in cocaine? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, we finally found the mine detector. That's cool. You know, we could have used that, like, four hours ago. <laughs> Damn. We did it. have made it to Metal Gear Rex. Oh, oh no, it's... Alright, we gotta do the card key bullshit. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Good rock. There's like these two goons that hang out in this area that I always have a hard time getting around. They should be easy to juke, but knowing me and my bitch assness, uh, it ends up never too well. So we might as well just shoot him, right? I was trying to see how far I can get in without like God damn, dude, every 10 feet? Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. <laughs> never met a system I could never... I couldn't bust a nut in. I'm sorry, that was out of pocket. I'll, I'll be better. I'm sorry. I think we're good over here, right? I think it's just bullets. Yeah, let's go over there and look. Do you think we can Nikita launcher that guy? The guy that's over here? Shaft grenades. Yeah, I want to see what's over there. I don't think I've ever actually gone over here. Like, ever. Oh, stinger missiles? Baby, you know what time it is, right? <laughs> You know what time it is, right? It's only one goon. What's one goon gonna do? Get me killed. That's what he's gonna do. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna fuck him up. He's like right over here. There's like one shit. Snake, I did it. You got bad security. Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? 
the secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Yeah, you better do what you gotta do. Now, excuse me, but I can't see him from here. I'm gonna climb down here and blow that guy up. I know he's here. I'm not crazy. Can y'all see him? There he is. The Lone Ranger. Goodbye, nerd. Oops. I knew I would fuck that up somehow. There we go. Oh shit, he survived. Why is this so hard? Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, there's another one. That sucks. Man, this plan did not work out at all. This plan went to shit. Here I am, thinking it was gonna be some easy. What the fuck do you want, man? Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Why don't you do that and then fucking call me? Is that wasting my time? Right? Wouldn't that be a good idea? When you have all the, the details? Snake, I've made it to the bathroom. Snake, I'm sitting down. Snake, I've begun pooping. 
Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the Hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> What's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Earth. Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive.
Snake. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see the override system that the President was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Yeah. How'd he do that? He can only see his elbow. You can see that big ass camera sitting in the in the doorway, Snake. You dumbass. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Ain't that a bitch? All right, fine. All right, let's go get it. Oh. Let me make sure my health is ready, because... Because I'll be getting shot. See a nerd, you can't climb ladders. Boo boo ass. What a sucker. He's been jabated, boys. Back to the what is it? Mongolian throat music? Oh shit. All right, let's go find. Now I can't remember. I uh, I know in order to get the the card, I think in this version of the game it's just there, right? Like it's there at the bottom. I think it's the it's what game is it? Twin Snakes where they have the whole rat bullshit, right? Where the rat eats it and you have to catch the rat. I think in this one it's just in the water and you just find it. Is what's up with this water? Is it like radioactive? Cuz like when you go in it your health starts draining. Is it too spicy? That's what I always thought. When I was a kid, I always thought the water was just too damn spicy. He was like, tss, ah, tss, ah. Oh shit, is it the rat? You better not, dude. Give me my therms. This shit started draining quick, too. Yo, really, what's up with this water? Oh my god, what the fuck? I was wondering, like, why the fuck are you not climbing? Famous bullets. So calm, ration, famous. It might be the rat one. Is it random? Bullet. 
bomb ration. Great. Why do we have this here? Snake, did you find the key? No, it's not here. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? Oh, I thought that was only in Twin Snakes. Right. Hmm. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. All right, that's code for we need to blow up some rats. You ass got it, huh? Shit. Oh, you did have it. <laughs> Almost fucking died. Hey, let me heal up before I just drop dead all of a sudden. Hell yeah. Get some, punk. So, I, I didn't, I noticed that my health wasn't going down. If you're in the water long enough, do you just die? Like, I don't think I've ever, like, big chilled in the water long enough. You know, I don't think I've sat in the water long enough to, to determine what happens. Should we go sit in the water and see what happens? You just insta-drown? Is that water hot? Is it spicy? I always thought the water was spicy. Where's that goon over here, that fucking bitch? Where is he at? You fat nerd. <laughs> hey, that guy. Oh, dude, I think we can make it. Knowing my luck and his ESPN, dude. No, I choke. No, I can do it. I think I can do it. We're good. All right. Perfecto. I was about to say, maybe if I'm quick enough, I can make it before he turns around. Uh, oh, shit. So what's the plan here? We just supposed to chaff grenade and run in and do what we gotta do? Are these chaff grenades so damn so damn big? Come on, dude. Got to equip it. How the fuck? I really hope the cutscene doesn't end and then we just get caught and die. That'd be pretty shitty. Oh, we're in the right spot where we're not seen. So let's throw this bad boy. Booyah. All right. So here's the plan. After we get the keys, we're pretty much at the end of the game, at the end game. There's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of action. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the... I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the time. Uh, let's see if I can hit him from here. I didn't get him. There we go. I'm gonna keep. I, I'm keeping an eye on the time, um, and I like to keep these at an hour and thirty minutes. I think that's a, a good a good chunk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the the cold key, the wet key, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna end it at the wet key, and then we can do the hot key, and then the final bit. Unless we have some extra time. I just like to keep it at an hour and 30. Like a movie, you know? You know, hour and 30, 90 minutes. I think that's a fair trade. Sometimes I can do like an hour 45. I feel like when people see like the video being hella long, they're like, oh, you know, I don't know why. I always feel that way. I always feel that if it's like really long. That's why I usually don't shoot for those like two hours, two hour plus videos. Cause I think people see that two hours and they go, fuck that, bro. I ain't watching all that shit. I'm not watching all that junk. So 
Yeah, I remember how I mentioned we got a... Oh, it zoomed on his crotch. Remember how I mentioned that we got a... Uh, Oh, we're going to go back to that area. Take those dumbass elevators. So we got to go back to the ice area where we fought... Uh, what's his name? Dude, there are so many guns in here. Oh, that's not that far. I thought we had to take an elevator. No, we take two elevators down to him. I think this area has goons in it now, right? Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay. I thought it would have dudes in it. Alright, we'll keep an eye on the key. Maybe we can do both keys. Maybe we can. Yeah, let's do two keys and then the last video will be the end part of the game. That sounds fair. I thought we had to go up the elevators. We can't. We, we have to go up the elevators and get to the fire. The, the, the spicy key, the hot za key. Maybe if I lay on it, it'll go faster. How are you guys doing? Wonderful, huh? I used to crawl around the house like this, man. Just make my stomach hurt. Give me the bubblies. Oh, still regular. <sighs> it's 140 in the morning. No, the key is still still not cold. Yeah, it is 140 in the morning, boys. I still gotta take a shower. And then get this ready. I'm gonna upload this Saturday morning. I like putting stuff up in the morning. It gives me more time instead of like like I always feel like I upload at the last minute and I'm always afraid I'm gonna fuck something up. Because I try to get it up so quick. Because my internet is so goddamn slow. Alright, it's it's wet now. The key's wet now, boys. Let's go. Because before, I, like, my internet was godlike, dude. Like, I can upload a video in, like, literally, like, seconds. Now it'd be taking me, like, four hours to upload these videos. Shit sucks. And so, like, I have to make sure, like, sometimes I rush. Because I do everything at the last minute because I never have time. So, like... Like one thing is off and it's like, well, there goes, now this video is going to take eight hours to upload. Which is a pain in the ass. So it gives me more time. I can upload it and check it and make sure it's all good. And then set it to, you know, go live at like 10 a.m. or something on Saturday. I think that'll be fair. That'll be fun. I always forget that a lot of you guys are on the East Coast. So like, I'll be like, oh, it's my morning. It'll be like lunchtime for you. So sometimes I like to, you know, make sure it's up at like nine, so that it's up at around noon or one p.m. around your time, like nine or ten my time, and then like twelve o'clock, one o'clock, you know, for your lunch breaks, so you can have something to watch, something to check out in ski. Okay, we're gonna wait till he. I think we can make it, cause he's heading over there, right? Yeah, we can make it. Clop, 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 clop. Sounds like a horse running. Let's put that, let's put the wet key in. Has W for wet. You see it? It's wet. Now the next one is red with a Z on it's for hot za. I can't remember if next comes pal number three warm the key i think once we put that key in that's what begins the oh shit i almost started running and got caught i think once we do that key is when uh the chain of events start because like once we put that key in we get locked in here and then we have to call otacon and then he gets us out and then once we come outside then that's when you know you start going that's when you go downhill and then the train don't stop, you know what I mean? So. Oops.
How many times I gotta kill that guy? Let's go get the hot Zaki. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get back to the room and then save. Because I believe when you save, it just brings you to the beginning of the room you went into. So once we get to the back, we're gonna, you know, put the drop that hot save and then we'll put the key in and then can you know start the the end of the game the end game the end game i'm excited to get the mgs2 and 3 i don't think i'm gonna play them back to back because i've noticed that uh i just want to mix it up a bit we're not gonna play a whole ass other video game but i might do like a video or two of something else in between the games just to give it a little bit of breathing room and then we'll start MGS2. And then same thing after 2. I'll do like a... You know... Some of those one-offs. Maybe we can do a Chaos Mod video. We'll figure it out. We'll do something. Put something in between. And then get back to Metal Gear. Hopefully they announce Volume 2 and it has MGS4 on it, man. MGS4? Dog, can you imagine MGS4 not running at like 14 FPS? Oh my god, dude. I didn't even notice until I played it when I was older. But when I was a kid, I was like, oh, this shit's godlike. Um. Boop. Yeah, once I got older and started noticing, uh, yeah, MGS4 be getting a little, be going and running in slow motion sometimes. So, but I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. I can't wait. I love that game. Oh, now it's full of fucking goons. Wonderful. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm really excited for. MGS4. I really like that game. Even though it's like the majority of his cutscenes, but... That game is just really fun. The parts that you can't play are just really, really fun. I enjoy it quite... I am enjoy quite a bit. I think it's key. Also, I think the last time I played MGS4 was when we did the did the uh, the big boss run, the big boss emblem run. That was forever ago. How long ago was that? Forever ago. That's the last time I played that game. I've not played MGS4 since then, not a single time. Haven't even turned it on. Like haven't even tried it. Haven't even fired it up. Like mm, reminisce. It's been that long since I played Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. I do remember the first time I played this game, though. Which I'll tell you after this conversation, so I'm not Snake. talking over him. It's about Naomi Hunter. You still Please snitching? You narc? He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it. But she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff. 
But we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Yeah, I trust that guy because he hasn't, you know, done us wrong yet. See, so yeah, like I was saying, um, when I first played this bad boy, it was at, I think during the summer. Um, I was visiting one of my uncles and he had it. So just every day I would just play it at his house in the morning. They don't already get shot at during the cutscenes? Shit. <laughs> you already trying to kill me? This area had mines in it, didn't it? Oh, I can't use the mine D because the, uh, yeah, it does have mines. You know what? I got some for your fucking ass. Suck on those toes. I played at his house every morning during the, during like a summer break. We would visit, I think, three times a week. Um, and then we'd go to my grandma's house. And he always woke up really late. And we'd be there at like 7 a.m., you know? Because I think at the time my mom was teaching summer school. She would drop us off at like 6.50, 7 in the morning. And then he didn't get up till like 10, so. Uh, we would just, I would just play Metal Gear until he woke up. And then when he woke up, I had to give him the PlayStation back and I would just play it every morning when I would visit there it was pretty it was pretty delicious this game was phenomenal I was like eight or something like that seven I, I was a cheering it was life-changing back then Can you imagine playing this when you're like 10 like a little kid like of course you're not gonna understand all this nuclear shit I didn't even watch the cutscenes I didn't know what the fuck was going on um but like just playing it was just so much fun. And it was just so cool and the cutscenes were cool. You know, I'm behind us all the dialogue, but yeah. It's funny cause I've, I was, I've been like that for a while. Like it wasn't until I was like 17 or 18 when I actually started paying attention to cutscenes and video games. I used to just skip them. Cause I wanted to play the game, not watch the game. When I was a kid, I was like, dude, I'm not here to watch no damn cutscenes or read. Like, if I want a story, I'll read a fucking book. That's how I thought when I was, like, 12. Unless the cutscenes were, like, super short. Like, Resident Evil's cutscenes were really short, so I didn't mind them too much. But... Like, usually I would just... Loki, I would just skip all the cutscenes. That's why I always had a hard time playing, like, certain games when I was a kid. Because you, sometimes you would watch the cutscenes and it would, you know, tell you what you need to do or where you need to go. I wouldn't know where to go because I was a stupid kid. I was a dumbass cheering. So. That's just kind of how it was. I think we could just chill up in here until the card gets hot. That's what I used to do. I used to skip cutscenes and just play video games. Strictly for the gameplay, baby. Loki, I think when I did my OG original playthroughs of MGS 1, 2, and 3, I know I paid attention to 4's cutscene. I think at that time was when I started caring, but I think when I did my uh, YouTube playthroughs for the first time, like, you know, 15 years ago or whatever, I think that was the first time I've ever, like, watched <laughs> these games' cutscenes because I couldn't, like, get up and leave. I would, like, go get a bowl of cereal or play, like, Pokemon on my Game Boy or something, you know? Go... I don't, know, I'd, I don't know, watch TV in the living room. I would go do stuff like that if I couldn't skip the cutscenes. I would just go do something else because I was a dumbass kid. Oh, the key is hot. Look at that. You see it? It's the hot Zaki. All right. All right, let's bring the hot Zaki back. One thing that would always make me super paranoid about this game is like, you have the hot Zaki, right? But you have to run through the cold 
first of all, you got to go across all these damn elevators. And then you got to go through the cold. And I'm always afraid, like, oh, man, the key's going to defreeze and I'm fucked. I mean, defrost, not defrost. Get cold, shit. It's going to detop ramen. Yeah, you take that elevator. Take the shit out of that. Did those, uh, did those mines respawn? Oh, they did. Do they respawn every fucking time? Who keeps, oh shit. Who keeps putting those there? Let's see. Maybe I could just dodge him. Oh yeah. Totally. Okay. I thought they were in the way, like I had to crawl. Waste time. The Cyborg Ninja. Yeah, man. I remember when MGS2 came out, man. That's why I got a PlayStation. I was like, my parents kept asking me, I was like, what do you want for Christmas and your birthday? I'm like, I'm like, Mom, Daddy O, I want a PlayStation. <laughs> I was like, whatever, just whatever money you're going to use for a birthday party. Let me have that shit. I want a PlayStation. And just anytime anybody was like, what you want for Christmas, baby? I want a PlayStation. Give me some money. And I saved up. And that was, I think that was the first time. How old was I? 12, I think. That was the first time I, like, experienced how shitty tax is. Snake, can when you, you buy things, me? yeah. It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965 and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. 
You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then... they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then... the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi... What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? Damn! For real? I was all into it! Snake! <gasps> Shit! Naomi. Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? It's fucked up. Yeah, you're a crow shoe. Go away. Boo boo ass crows. You guys are boo boo. Stanky booty ass crows. All right. Hopefully the card doesn't defrost. De deheat. Cool down. We gotta juke these dudes. As long as they don't turn around, we are gravy, baby. Booyah. Like it was nothing. I'm out of here, bitches. Alright. I think we're good, yeah. Okay. Once we get back to the, the room, we'll save. Press and circle too early. Damn it, looks, I was saying I don't want to do an hour and 30. I forgot about Naomi calling you about some bullshit. <laughs> I forgot her give you a call about a bunch of bullshit. She'd be hating. Call you because she's a hater. 
you mad because Frank Yeager got his ass clapped and Big Boss is dead. Because <laughs> they, they, they stood up to the master. The homeboy of ages. How are you going to be a hater like that? Okay, let's see. I just want to keep an eye on that guy. I think it's just normal, right? We just run all the way through. He should be down there. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we can run all the way through. Okay. So we made it. Let's give... Oops. Let's give Mei Ling a call. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Alright, thank you. Let's save. Just in case, we're gonna save over this one, you know, because I'd be having audio issues. Hopefully, I checked before I started recording. Um, but you never know, man, how this bullshit is. Please, Nick, don't give up. Alright, ladies and gentle thugs. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's 2.06 in the morning, so I gotta... I'm gonna go take a shower and get this ready for you guys to watch soon um and get some tea and chill out and vibe for the rest of the night so thank you guys for hanging out i'm glad you guys are enjoying the playthrough like i said before if you are enjoying the playthrough please let me know because then it shows me that you guys are enjoying the playthrough it's something as simple as i'm enjoy it's perfectly fine for me at least i know that you enjoy it and i really appreciate the people that do do that because not only do you say it it means that you actually watch it all the way to the end. And a lot of people don't watch the videos all the way to the end. So you that made it all the way to the end of this long bad boy. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that I'm able to entertain you for an hour and 50 minutes. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go take a shower. And uh, big chill for the rest of the night. And get ready for uh, trying to sleep. So thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful morning. A great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. If it is your birthday, you dastardly devil, happy birthday to you. If it is your birthday, you gorgeous gal, happy birthday to you too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.